How are you sitting here at Blackpool Auto Mart? Showing around this Lexus IS300 that we have in stock. This car is a hybrid. It's got a hybrid motor as well as the petrol engine working alongside each other. Car's, car's finished off in a wonderful metallic grey colour. It's got daytime running lights at the front following this sort of L shape just below the headlight. You would have seen that on the pictures if you have viewed the picture on Auto Trader. Got these lovely alloys on the car as well. All the alloys in great condition. Got a little hybrid logo just there in case you do forget it is a hybrid. As I'm walking around the car, I'll show you each and every alloy so you can make your own judgment on the condition of the car. Got your Lexus badge at the back, as well as your IS300 badge as well. Cars to sale here at Blackpool Auto Mart, we're part of the Cox Motor Group. Privately owned family run group of dealerships. You can find other Cox Motor Group owned sites across the Northwest in areas such as Kendall, Lancaster, Southport, Wigan, and of course Blackpool. Our franchise dealers include Seat, Honda, Mitsubishi, and Volkswagen. Our non franchise side of things include the Auto Marts, which includes us Blackpool Auto Mart, Southport Auto Mart, and Lancaster Auto Mart. At the Blackpool site, you've got Blackpool Seat just on the corner over there. Next door to them, you've got us Blackpool Auto Mart. As you know, we sell a variety of brands of cars, as you can see from our pitch. And then next door to us, you've got Honda Bikes, which is the UK's only superbike store. Moving over across the road, you've got a flagship dealership, which is Blackpool Honda. Just over in the distance, you've got a paint and body shop clinic, as well as your in-house workshop. So all these cars, as you go through body shop prep prior to sale, you also go through a nice and extensive workshop check, make sure everything's mechanical and underneath the engine bay is working as it should be. So without further ado, we'll get into the car. Start off at the rear first and show you the boot space in this Lexus. Make sure the car's unlocked first. Got plenty of boot space, it's a nice deep boot. Previous owner also fitted a plastic plastic cover here to protect the carpet off the boot. Nice feature to have that you're going to benefit from if you do purchase this car. Onto the rear interior, you'll find a half cloth, half leather interior. Very comfortable seats to sit in. Got plenty of leg space for your rear passengers. A couple of AC vents that feed through to the rear passengers. You've also got a centre console which pops out for the middle seat. Reveals a couple of cup holders as well for your rear passengers. We've also got Isofix mounting points on the rear seats for any child seats you might have. Got half leather, half cloth interior. Some nice patterning down the centre. Onto the front interior, you've got the same situation with the seats. Half leather, half cloth, a nice patterning and some white stitching as well down the sides. Very comfortable seats to sit in, gives you a very good driving position. Stepping into the car, you find a CVT automatic gearbox, clearly labelled as well. Down the centre console, you've got your different driving modes operated by these buttons just here. So you've got Eco, Normal and Sport. You've also got your traction control button just here. Your electric mode button just here. You've also got a snow mode just there as well. You've got a little dial here to navigate through the infotainment system, which is located just up here. You've also got a couple of buttons for your infotainment system just here. Just ahead of the gear stick, you've got your heated seat buttons for your front driver and front passenger seat just here. And just above that, you've got your multimedia dials and buttons just here, as well as your CD player. And above that, you've got all your climate control buttons. These are nice as well. They light up as you change the, uh, the temperature of the car. So I'll just start up the car electronics so I can talk you through the infotainment system as well. So as you can see, semi-electronic, got these buttons just here got a nice little analog clock in between your vents I'll talk you through the infotainment system now so using the buttons that I mentioned just down here you can go back to your main menu you've got all your radio and your media sources in the first option you've got satellite navigation to show you display of the map now nice clear image 
back to the main menu. Got your display settings, setup, information about the car. You've got all your car settings in there as well. Bluetooth hands-free audio. And lastly, your climate, which you can view and change using the infotainment system as well. Your push button start is located just here. Onto the speedometer. As you can see, this car sat on 12,240 miles. Nice low mileage considering it's on a 69 plate. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, you've got all your media buttons, including your volume buttons. A couple of media buttons just here. You've got Bluetooth buttons just here as well. And you've also got your voice activated control where you can speak to your infotainment system, give it commands rather than using the dial that I mentioned earlier. On the right hand side of the steering wheel, You've also got your lane assist. You've got your distance control as well, just there, which I believe that icon is. And you've also got the buttons that control the trip computer located in between the speedometer. So it's personal preference what you have displayed here. However, most people like to display the driving data, how much fuel they've got left in the tank, that kind of stuff. Down to the right hand side of the driver, you've got a couple more buttons. You've got another button for your trip computer located just up here. You've also got the button to control how bright your speedometer is. You've also got your parking sensors just down there as well. And right down below, you've got your bonnet release as well as your boot release button just there. Yeah, just down there. Onto the driver's door card. You've got electrically adjustable mirrors. Your child lock located just here as well. And last of all, you've got electrical windows for all four windows. So that's the interior. Do you one last look at the seats before I step away from the vehicle. So that is the car, it's available here at Blackpool Auto Mart. If you'd like to know any more information on this car or any finance options available on this car, please contact the sales team. They'll be more than happy to help. If you do view this car on our website, you can reserve it for £99, subject to viewing. So if you do need to plan your journey to get down here, that is an option for yourself. And then when you do get down here, if you look at the car and for whatever reason it's not for you, that, ref uh, that deposit is refundable. We also offer a £99 flat delivery rate nationwide. So if you are quite a distance away from us, you're not going to make it down in person to view this car, but you don't want to miss out on it. That is also an option for yourself. Hope you enjoyed the video and we hope to hear from you soon.